Dr. David Schiller here, and today we're going to be talking about T3 hormone derivatives, things like Armour and Cytomel. Uh, many people are now being prescribed these uh, hormones, and we want to talk about can these T3 hormones make you worse? So what happens many a time, people are getting diagnosed with low thyroid and they're being prescribed Synthroid or Levothyroxine or Levoxyl, which are T4 derivatives. And T4 is a hormone that your thyroid makes that truly is inactive. In other words, T4 needs to be converted to T3 in order to create these metabolic changes in your body. So what uh, a common situation would be the woman goes, gets the, uh, or a man for that matter, they go and get, they have this diagnosis of low thyroid and they get put on hormone replacement. They get putting on in Synthroid, T4 derivatives, Armour, or Cytomel. Now, with T4 derivatives like Levothyroxine or Synthroid, they're, sometimes they don't produce the effects because that T4 that they're being given doesn't convert to T3. And the most common reason why T4 does not convert to T3 is due to inflammation. So the person, for the most part, when they come in to see me, they're all inflamed because they haven't yet been diagnosed with autoimmunity or Hashimoto's. 80 to 90 percent of all low thyroid in this country is due to this autoimmune reactivity called Hashimoto's. And taking Synthroid or Levoxyl or Levothyroxine is not taking care of this autoimmune reactivity. With autoimmune reactivity, you get a tremendous amount of inflammation produced in the body. The inflammation and the inflammation that produces cortisol reactions, cortisol is the hormone from your adrenal glands, Inflammation, the inflammatory markers, the inflammation is uh, causing release of things called cytokines, which are inflammatory mediators. These cytokines can block your thyroid reception. So you can think of your thyroid receptors as antennae, and they're supposed to be looking and looking out for hormones, T4 and T3, to help create these situations, but with the amount of inflammation that's going on, it blocks thyroid reception. So the, the analogy I use is if you've ever been to New York City during the holidays, and there's a tremendous amount of people, tremendous amount of cars, there's no place to park. So what happens, the, the analogy is like your hormones in that when there's all these cytokines and this inflammation around, they're taking up the parking spaces where your thyroid hormones are supposed to go. So as a result of this inflammation, it blocks thyroid reception. So you're trying to get this conversion going, and there's a condition within hypothyroid called underconversion, where the person does not produce enough T3. And you can easily see this when you look at a person's blood work, where you're not only looking at TSH and T4, but you should be looking at your T3. If there's not enough T3, and people are being told, well, you don't have enough T3, you're underconverting. The reason why that underconversion is happening is because of inflammation. But here's what happens. There's another phenomenon with low thyroid called thyroid resistance. So what people do is when they're taking armor or they're taking Cytomel because they're seeing a doctor actually looked at T3, they're saying, well, you're low, you have low T3. So what they do is they give T3. And what you're doing is you're bombarding that body with the, the active form of the hormone that what can happen is you can create thyroid resistance where there's so much messaging going on from this T3 derivative, armor, Cytomel, uh, nature thyroid, that the body literally starts to become resistant to your thyroid hormone. So sometimes taking T3 hormones can make your thyroid, uh, thyroid symptoms worse because you're creating thyroid resistance that will create uh, like insulin resistance when people have metabolic syndrome or insulin resistance. They have enough insulin just that the receptors aren't recognizing that insulin anymore. When you're bombarding the body with all this T3 messaging, you actually create the thyroid resistance and your symptoms can get worse. So what you really need to do is figure out what's causing the inflammation that's causing the underconversion of that T4 to T3. By virtue of doing that, you're able to then decrease the inflammation, which, de which decreases the cytokines, which then allows those receptors to become receptive to the hormones that you're being made. You make more convert, or you create more conversion from that T4 to T3, and you can start feeling better. So I hope this information has helped. Um, look for our future posts on similar topics, and make it a great day.